Hey you nerds, how's it going? I'm in a little bit of pain, I have a headache. It's annoying and that's kind of what this video is about. Um, little catch up on how I've been. It's been a few days since the weekend. Um, had a Halloween party and Halloween is of course the date when I go full time. So I've been two years full time um, on the 31st, which was last week. Um, yeah, it's been great really enjoy doing the Halloween parties and everything because it always reminds me of my going full-time day and date and oh it's been brilliant really nice weekend spending time with friends and dressing up as the hitcher from the mighty boosh I'm a cockney nut job I'll slice your left I'll slice your right I'm like connect four in dagger form and yeah that's who I was on Friday night it was great fun um but what this video is about is the headaches and the the stomach cramps and the feelings of what I would normally associate with women having time of the month coming around again for me. Now it's interesting because of course as a trans woman I don't have the necessary downstairs parts and necessary anatomy to really function for having periods but I have over the course of the last two and a bit years of taking hormones experienced times where I've had stomach cramps and migraines and uh, mood swings and different things throughout the month. On a couple of occasions I've had a period of a few months where there's, there's been a bit of a monthly cycle where it will happen every like, 28 days or something where I'll get these feelings and it doesn't make a lot of sense to me but I've spoken to other trans women and other trans women uh, I've spoken to have felt it as well. I, I know trans women who definitely get a monthly cycle. I've thought, is it psychosomatic? Is it all, you know, the kind of thing where, oh, I'm a trans woman and I'm taking, taking hormones and I am female now. So every 28 days I should have... A, a cycle of some sorts where I and you know we all know the symptoms that come with um, a monthly cycle so I'm getting distracted because there's fireworks going off on the outside don't know if you can hear them but it's highly distracting yeah we all know the symptoms of um, a woman's um, period cycle or, you know they obviously they have you know um, bleeding and everything so they have, have to use sanitary showers and tampons and things so if I certainly don't get that. <laughs> there's no uterus, there's no womb, there's no vagina, can't happen. But in terms of headaches and stomach cramps, I'm getting those. And I've, I've spoken to other trans women who do get that as well. It's a really interesting phenomena, um, a trans woman's period. And, you know, hormones do fluctuate and our own bodies go in different cycles. And I'm sure that that does happen I'm sure I've read some things about even men having having certain cycles of of different hormone levels throughout the month and things changing here and there um it's more pronounced with 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 women um with most women who go through a monthly cycle and have periods and some people, women have heavier periods lighter periods more symptoms of periods and lighter symptoms of periods I've got friends who you know are on the pill I've got friends who are not and different women handle it in different ways as a trans woman, every now and then I'm feeling these effects where I'm very sensitive to light and I get migraines easily. I don't have really strong migraines often. Um, and mostly migraines are brought on by stress for me because I've only had a few in my life. Um, but I've over the last couple of days, I've had stomach cramps as well as migraines. And it's like, what's going on? Why is this happening? And I don't know honestly don't know it's just an interesting phenomenon and it is something that a lot of trans women experience is having some period symptoms you can be a trans woman and have a period obviously not monthly bleeding but there are so many other symptoms involved with it and yeah I totally get that and feeling like you're bloated as well that's the other one I I get the feeling of feeling bloated every now and then 
during these um, times where I've been in those um, kind of monthly cycle syndromes. It's not one. I cannot explain it. It's almost like I can't give you any more background and reasoning to it. I almost feel like I'm crazy for feeling it, but it is true. It happens. I really had thought when I first got it that it was, psych that it was psychological, it was psychosomatic, because there's no reason, surely, for it to happen. But I can't deny the facts and I can't deny how what my body is telling me. So there must be some kind of reason behind it. Who knows? Or maybe the hormones are doing so much good work to me that I'm actually growing and changing my own internal anatomy and becoming a female you would never distinguish from someone who was assigned female at birth. Whoa, I'm like a frog who changes gender halfway through their life. Rabbit. Not happening, is it? If only it would. I wouldn't have to worry about the wait for surgery then. Oh well. One day. Be like uber trans. Super trans. <laughs> Not happening. Anyway, that's all for this video. Trans periods are a thing. They definitely happen. God knows why but they definitely do happen to a lot of trans women. So if you're experiencing it as well, you're not alone, totally. There are many trans women out there who um, experience period type symptoms and I really am not sure why. I'm sure people have written about it and and there are articles out there and blog posts about it that people are speaking about this. And I'd love to know more about it. So if you, have, if you know anything, let me know in the comments. Say if, if, if you're a trans woman who experiences these things as well, Let's talk about it. Let's see if anyone knows any more, because I find it really interesting. That's all for now. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below. I've been Amber. Take care. Bye, nerds.